Alright, so I guess a couple of you wanted me to do a complete overview on this Dell Inspiron 7500 here. So, yeah, I got this laptop as part of a two laptop deal. Uh, that would be the video before this one. And yeah, I guess you guys wanted to completely see what's up and down with this machine. So yeah, this is a Dell Inspiron 7500. Um, straight out of 1997 according to the documentation and software I got with it. Um, it's in pretty decent shape. It's not uh, immaculate though because, well, A, it has one broken hinge latch right there. And it has, let's see what else. The One of the hinge covers is completely just broken so I had to tape it together. These little clips on the back that hold this uh, inner hinge cover on like to break a lot so yeah and then it has one broken uh, part of the vent on the back this was a refurbished unit according to the sticker so yeah it otherwise it's in pretty good shape um, the plastics are in very good condition and uh, yeah but back here we have two doors one for the Dell VGA card, which is kind of interesting. I guess that's the video card. Back when laptops had removable video cards, I guess you could upgrade that if you wanted. That's pretty cool. That's something you really don't see anymore. Everything's kind of packaged together these days. And then this door um, just has the RAM. So it has 320 megabytes of RAM. This is a 256 and this is a 128, I think. This is the original one, so it came with 256 megs of RAM when it was new. So. This isn't exactly a low-end machine. I know these model, uh, this model of laptop was sold with uh, Pentium 2 processors, so it's kind of interesting how this one has a Pentium 3 and a lot of RAM, so I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, we have um, an optical drive and a floppy up front, indicator lights, the latch, battery, uh, audio ports and PCMCAA, the power, oh and there's a little volume um, adjuster there. Uh, modem, vent, and then, you know, VGA serial parallel, and then the Dell docking port. We have one single USB port and an S-Video out. Or no, that's a PS2, actually. Yeah, and then we have an infrared port right here. That's about it. Um, I guess I can uh, open it up and turn it on. Now, um, I know B Bishop PCM did a video of one of these, and I have to contest that the hinge design on these are absolutely terrible. Um, you can go ahead and search up his video if you want to know more about it, but yeah, it's just really bad. The hinge covers also like to break off like mine did, so yeah. Anyway, um, Pentium 3, designed for 98. I have Windows 2000 on here now. Um, the keyboard is kind of worn, as you can see, the spacebar is pretty worn, but you know, this laptop is about as old as me, so yeah. You have the power button, indicator lights, the latch. Um, switch there and uh, we have some rubber and then again that broken latch so this thing isn't perfect but it's pretty close for being as old as it is uh, I believe this is a 15 inch screen might be a 14 inch I don't know uh, it's 1024 by 768 which is kind of high for these laptops I would have expected it to have like 800 by 600 or something but nope 1024 by 768 let's go ahead and turn it on let's see how uh, it boots here so yeah, there is the BIOS screen, which looks kind of new uh, for this kind of computer. I remember the old Dimensions used to have that same screen. Kind of interesting. Uh, the blah, blah, blah. Okay, I guess it's just going to do its own thing there. So, again, uh, like I said, it's running Windows 2000 Professional Service Pack 4. Uh, Windows 98 ran really slow on here, so I reformatted 2000. And uh, yeah, it works pretty well. Um, by the way, the Pentium 3 runs at 650 megahertz, if I'm not mistaken. I couldn't find anything in the software about it, so I had to go online to look it up. So apparently it's a 650 megahertz Pentium 3, which really isn't that bad. This is the, actually the most powerful uh, vintage laptop that I have. The other two over there, the uh, Toshiba and the IBM ThinkPad 380. Um, the 380 has an original Pentium at like, I don't know, 100 megahertz or so. And the Toshiba, I'm not sure what that has yet, but I don't really care. 
Oh yeah, you can hear that hard drive chucking away. But yeah. Okay. And log in. I really don't know what I'm going to use this machine for. But it's just a really good old machine. Uh, I really like it actually. It's cool. But I really have no idea what I'm going to use it for. As I kind of have an issue with... Um, <laughs> The only real computers I use on a daily basis are the MacBook Pro and the custom built. The other ones kind of just sit around. But anyway, um, it's pretty quick, honestly. Uh, after I reformatted it, that is the other one, the other install was uh, pretty ridiculous. But yeah, this thing has a s eight gigabyte hard drive, or maybe a seven gigabyte, something like that. Uh, let me see. Uh, capacity 6.0 so yeah I guess it's a 6 gig hard drive maybe a 6.5 or something I know they were kind of funny with the uh, hard drive sizes back then but I guess I can go ahead and uh, test out the uh, sound which I was kind of surprised it sounds kind of tinny from far away but if you put your ears up to the little speaker grills here there actually is some bass but you have to like put your ear right up to it to hear it so I don't know what the uh, point of that is but yeah, anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and play my favorite MIDI sequence uh, in Windows 2000. It goes pretty loud. Well, I mean, kind of. Anyway, um, yeah, that's that. Uh, the sound is pretty decent. Um, again, you have to put your ear up to it or else it kind of sounds like shite, but, you know, it's a laptop. I put Word 1997 on here, so, yeah, you got the uh, classic uh, paperclip guy. So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just about Microsoft. Well, wow, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to do that. Um, Microsoft Word 1997, um, yeah, there it is, so, there you go, I can type words, so yeah, that's that, little paperclip guy, I remember that dude, um, I guess, well, I think there's pinball on here, I guess we can give that a go, yeah, there we go, if I remember how to play this game, I used to play the crap out of this when I was young, Uh, let me change the controls. Left flipper. I want it to be left. Left. Right flipper. Uh, 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 no. Why you do this? Okay. Okay, that's all I really care about, so. Uh, game. Oh, F3. There we go. Let's play some good fashioned pinball here. Oh crap. Let's try again. crap well anyway uh, that's that it plays pinball fairly well um, other than that there's really not much I can show you uh, it doesn't have internet access and probably will never uh, doesn't have Ethernet or Wi-Fi or anything like that so yeah but anyway that is a quick look at the Dell Inspiron 7500 so yeah